Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Cheese and welcome to a brand new Days Gone video here on the channel. Once again, more Days Gone. This is a tips and trick video. Hope you guys are really going to enjoy it. If you do like my content, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and let's enjoy it. The very first thing I'm going to show you guys is a secret loot room. There are a couple of houses in Days Gone that are locked and there's secret loot in there. I'm going upstairs right now showing you guys which room I actually mean. So there's a room right here which is locked and there is a secret entrance to this room. Most of these houses you have to go outside and climb on the rooftop. Here it's different, you have to go outside and jump outside of the window and then you actually land on the rooftop as well. You go around the corner and then you jump back into the window. All the items that you really pay a lot for or that you just rarely find in Days Gone, you'll find them all in this room. Proximity bombs, uh, awesome things like this. I would say definitely go check this out as well. There are multiple houses, that is the case. Just use your instinct, then you can look through the wall and you know where the items are. And if you're gonna look inside the house, there will be a locked door and it will be a way in somehow. Figure it yourself out. This is one of the houses, I got another one as well. This is a house in the exact same thing. At the beginning of this video, I showed you guys a map so you can head here yourself. I go into this room, I can actually open the door from this side so I never have to go all the way around and have to climb all the way up to get to this window. So basically, if you go into the secret room, you can push open the door from the inside and that way you can easily always come back, but the stuff will actually be gone. This is not the only room in this house because if you climb out of the window and go to the next one, we'll see that there's actually another window we can climb into and even there is another window where we can find loot let me know down below in the comments if you guys know some other spots where you can find some damn good loot help each other out in the comments i would really appreciate that if you turn on the generator of the nero checkpoint and actually took away all the alarms you can fast travel to other nero checkpoints and also ambush camps but there has to be enough fuel in your motorcycle otherwise you're not able to travel that far you will see that if I actually refill the tank I'm able to go to where I wanted to go. If you see a car like this make sure to stop there will always be a fuel can on the back of the car. Crafting is really important in Days Gone and these setter saplings actually make you able to craft some bolts for your crossbow. A police car is actually the only car you will always find yourself ammunition in. Just open up the trunk get that stuff out you're golden. If your motorcycle is almost broken or you need some fuel, at the camp you can always get yourself fuel and also repair your bike at the mechanic. If you have been playing a lot of Days Gone, do not forget to upgrade your bike. You can get different engines, exhausts, literally everything but you need a certain trust level to change these things and I also need a lot of money. Not only can you upgrade your bike with parts but also you can customize it with colors, paintings and a lot of different stuff. I'll wrap that up for you. If you want to level up your trust level faster, what you should do is you should actually sell the freaker ears that you find, but also the plants and the meat. Days Gone has a lot of different enemies, and you guys know it, but the humans actually drop quite a lot of good stuff, so make sure to search their bodies after they die. If you're running low on fuel, make sure that you are not in a place where you can't find any, because sometimes you will be looking for fuel for like 20 minutes and that is really annoying I can tell you that. After you clear the infestations there are still people waiting for you if you go to the gas stations. Their guns are bad and they're basically not gonna do anything but still they're waiting for you every time. Around the open world you will find victims of the apocalypse. Make sure to help them out and send them to a camp. You will get some money for it. Mark Scraps are really helpful, you can find them below a hood of a car. With this you can actually repair your motorcycle. Your bike can actually drive in the water, but not if it's too deep. You will just ruin it. Did you guys know that Deacon can actually take out two hordes at the same time? I know right, it's insane. And really intense. Buying weapons also requires a certain trust level. Both camps have a different trust level. From hundreds and hundreds of meters away, a sniper can still shoot you. Clearing out the nest in the infestations is super important. You will make the world a whole lot safer. At the Nero checkpoints, you can find Nero injectors. These will increase your health, stamina or your focus at your own choice. 
you can go into an ambush camp, take them out quietly, or be really rough. No one even cares. If you take them all out, you got yourself another fast travel. If you think this video is amazing, make sure to subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next one. This was Cheese. Peace.